I can't be the only one thinking, they might as well just given us Kira Black. I mean, how far from it is it really? Excalibur is a new pseudo legendary and it's an ice and dragon type in, and it is an incredible diverse Pokemon, mainly because offensively it is now theoretically the strongest pseudo legendary there is with a 145 attack, but also its mix bulk is quite high, as it sports a really high HP stat of 115, combined with 92 defense and 86 special defense, and you got a really bulky guy, and combine that with a fair speed of 87, so not only is it a bulkier Pokemon, but it also is hitting hard, and it's actually kind of NASCAR, it's actually speed enough to possess a part, a big threat. Special attack is on the lower side, and quite frankly, you aren't going to use it even with a diverse move pool with freeze dry. There is really no reason to ever consider it as it's double as strong on the physical side. The typing itself leaves much to be desired, and it's unfortunate to say the least. Ice and Dragon isn't really doing anything for it, it ice mainly makes sure that you aren't weak to, well, ice. As the dragon type, besides it, Ice is just a very poor type in. Uh, so defensively, you go to take Fighting, Rock, Steel, and, and well, Dragon and Fairy super effectively. So, a lot of things to watch out for. And Yolo resist really the most common dragon resistances in water, grass, and electric. So, a lot of things to patch. It works well with other steel types, of course, that are floating, that's even better. And also works well with other fairy types. Its synergy is there, but it's something to keep in mind. It's not as. Um, well, flexible as other pseudo legendaries. Its abilities are actually quite nice. Is Ice Body, which in its own right is fine. I think it works well for it with a bulkier set of leftovers, but that's not why we're gonna cover Max Calibur. We are talking about the Thermal Exchange. This guy get a full immunity in fire, and you get raised by one attack when you're hit by fire move. This is incredible in a station meta, mainly because this allows you to become a steel type. And one of the biggest issues is that, well, you, you gotta watch out for that stuff, right? And with Thermal Exchange, not only you get immunity with steel types, you also have a fair chance of actually dealing with other dragons and fairies. So, my best interpretation of this Pokemon is absolutely running. Uh, Terminal Exchange and Terra Type Steel, I really don't believe there's any other reason to run anything but that. I've seen people running this with Bug. Don't do that. Just don't. When it comes to its potential move pools, we're gonna run four different ideas, and while some of them are gonna be defensive, I wanna focus first and foremost on what you're most likely gonna use this guy for. Choice Band. Um, it's very easy to run this. You wanna run Terra Type Dragon together with Glaive Rush. Glaive Rush is a mo move that is just as strong as Outrage, but... While you do take double damage afterwards, you are allowed to switch that potential fear switching. Outrage has one really bad thing about it, and that is you locked in for two to three turns. This is not it. You can just keep on damage, and with Terra Type Dragon, you can double down on that damage. You also have priority in Ice Shard, Earthquake, and Ice Crash. You can easily run this with Choice Scarf or even Life Orb if you just want to have some type of utility. But I think the Life Orb set has better synergy with other setup moves since this guy gets both Dragon Dance and Soul Stance but this is the most clean cut set we got and it's phenomenal now the second set I got is uh, the Soul Stance set now like I said you can run this with Dragon Dance but you want to run this with Terra Type Steel I optimize this for running Sugar Berry I really want to bait in the mons that matters and well this is one of those chances isn't it as Steel Type will allow you to pretty much force out fairies anyway, you can double down with Iron Head to outperform that damage. Now, if you don't want to have Iron Head, you're just as good having Iron Head or Earthquake on this. The reason I go for Iron Head is because I really want that high damage output on a few fairies that actually just decides to threat you. Glaive Rush always going to be there, and Ice Cold Spare or Ice Cold Crash is just fine. Um, I usually run this set with Soul Stance. I do like the idea with Dragon Dance, but I don't believe in the current meta it is as effective. I really just like that. Make sure that the walls that want to come in on it has no honest chance of actually fending it off, and it's speed enough to make sure those base 85 and lower just isn't doing it. Now, when it comes to this defensive set, I'll just go with that and say it. You will not use it for that, but if you go into Optimize it, this is a set that I've been actually seeing working, and it is mainly in Hail Teams, as with the Snowstorm, you can actually utilize your defense combined with Ice Body and Leftovers, and you got basically 12% recovery every turn, and combine that with the Dragon Dance, then this might actually look to be quite a ferocious, actually, Dragon Dancer in a Hailstorm or a Snowstorm. 
it is straightforward you go and just set up we don't have late rush here as you do want to capitalize on that bulk and watch out for the mag punches you go into run this with terror type steel anyway because it is absolutely just one of his best utility to put, capitalize on it you could run terror type well dragon just to really narrow it down but all in all this is a good dragon that is set for hail teams and the main reason for it is because it is bulky enough in the snowstorm to take hits and recover effortlessly and <laughs> recover a lot of hp 115 hp to base is actually quite high and it's just it is fun to use if anything so now the more crazy set hear me out on this i think this could work however it is depending on how you want to set this off blunder policy double speed if you miss your move steel terror type steel turtle exchange make sure you have more resistances than ever and now it's out whether or not you want to use glaive rush or dragon rush glaive rush has of course it is an extremely powerful move with soul stance it is phenomenal it hurts stuff so badly but you do optimize yourself using blister over isolate crash and if you don't want to have blister as it doesn't really gain anything from earthquake or i mean soul stance earthquake is your choice so feel of course <clears throat> but if you don't want to have blister you can go isolate crash there and just go dragon rush it has a bigger chance of hitting but it's also an awful move to get off the idea is to set up a soul stance start hurting hoping you miss and if you get that blunder support heading off then you're in a golden spot to kill stuff because it, there is no scar for the game that will outspeed you and uh, there is no mod that want to enjoy that glaive rush and a few that do with the steel terra type won't be able to pull that off if you just keep soul stances until you feel comfortable i think this is a great set i think it's annoying enough and uh, hopefully you do too so that said that is max caliber it is pretty straightforward one of the strongest pseudo legendaries introduced and it's it's just cure and black with few less moves but also better utilities depending on how you do it no recovery though it's gonna suck but I, I i'll enjoy it i think it's fine i think it's great honestly and hope to see it more used that's it guys as always for watching have a great day take care